All right, everybody, I just thought I'd give another update <clears throat> to the Big Lebowski, um, which basically goes to just basically some things I added to it um, and also a couple fixes I've had to do. And then I've also got something else I'll be needing to work on, which I'll talk about in a minute. But um, <clears throat> the first thing I did, just in order to keep the longevity of the game better, I did add a full set of clear plastic protectors. I've seen other protectors done that are different colors. Um, I don't think they look as clean. Obviously, I mean, if you're just looking at uh, the video itself is what I'm showing you, you're not really gonna pick up the fact that there is actual plastic protectors. Let's go take a look here. Now you can see this little lip here. Um, the original plastic here, and then you can see that the clear plastic is underneath it. Uh, this might be one of the hardest jobs to do in pinball um, is putting these plastics on the Big Lebowski because everything has to come off. Um, you know, everything, because here, here's this, uh, there's the, the plastic protector underneath and then the original plastic. Now, the interesting thing is this is loose like this. Um, that's just how it's designed. Um, but with the protector built in on it, I think it, it's gonna hold up just fine. Uh, some interesting wear that I had seen start here. You can kind of see it on the on the plastic there. That was my main reason why I went ahead and went with the plastic protectors with how quickly I had managed to bash off the paint. And I think it was from this target. <clears throat> anyway, the whole thing, plastic protectors everywhere um, to protect. Um, and just, again, for longevity. The other thing I did was I ordered um, from Cliffy uh, the, his uh, set of protectors. Um, you know, so we have the in in the shooter lane protector. Um, this is actually I thought this was going to be a whole lot more difficult. It did take a couple hours for me to do it, um, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought because everything has to fit like underneath these wooden rails. Um, you know, to put this in, the apron has to come off. So I did get, the, the set itself doesn't really come with that many things, but it's exactly what you need it to be to make your game run perfectly. Um, and so like, you know, I replaced the uh, factory um, scoop here, this little metal protector. This is the cliffy protector. The factory protector was already waffled and kind of wavy. Um, and it's not like I have a whole bunch of plays on here, but it just shows the difference to knowing how to make one of these and not. And uh, Cliffy's protector is just, I mean, it was so just so solid and made so much sense. When you start installing it, you realize the genius behind, behind his design work and then the simplicity of it. And like, why doesn't everybody else know to do that? So anyway, there's that. The other thing is, I don't know if we can get in there and see it, but uh, this is a carbon fiber ring around the, uh, the little gobble hole right there. It's not technically a gobble hole, it's just a saucer. But um, I was getting wear there already. Um, and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't fit flush with the wood, but what it does is it keeps anything from coming, like uh, the force coming back towards the play field or into the other side as the ball hits in there. So any like chipping activity will be stopped at the ring. And this is a, this is a 3M, um, I believe. Uh, I do vinyl work and stuff and I know that the adhesives that 3M use on a lot of their materials is pretty incredible. So I think that's going to stay permanently without even me having to worry about it. Of course, the, the ball drain hole area was protected with this cliffy protector. And uh, I had quite a bit of uh, wear already in, into this spot. And until I got this clippy protector, I just never really even looked at that spot in the game ever. Um, and I am thinking to myself, well, that might be something I can do on the rest of my games. Um, we'll see. Uh, so Big Lebowski, oh, one other thing is this is the newest addition. I think he added to the set is this, uh, you can see, well, because of the, of the glare it's really hard to tell but uh these are the the steel um, ramp protector it comes around and 
um, fits here as well. So like a, a ball hitting here, hitting off the, the switch, and hitting this is not gonna crack your ramp. And this general area in here is where most of the wear is from indirect shots to the ramp coming in and out. I don't know, really terrible film in here. Um, so hopefully that'll protect it. And of course you do have to add two screw holes to the ramp to secure it. Um, but again, I don't think I'll ever replace the ramp because the clipping protector is there. Um, now I'll just call into general wear. Let's take a look. You can see that there, there is a, a, a ball line already getting started here. I'm not really sure what's the best way to get rid of that or even to help prevent it. I could use some clear um, vinyl um, that I could produce and, and, and have exactly fit that area. But I don't know. I, I think it's one of those things that I could notice can't get it out. Like, you know, some of the more scratchy uh, Novus number. I don't remember which one it is, number two or whatever it is. It might be able to clean that up pretty well. Um, but that, and there is, of course, like anything else, there's dimpling that is that is happening into the play field. Uh, not, not crazy. But this Where's has, the fucking money, Lebowski? Well, <laughs> there's the f ball. It's not on family mode. Um, but if you look, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if I can get it to pick up with the camera or not. But the point is, is there are so many air balls that do happen. Um, and I think, it, I think it's because of the design of the actual drop targets themselves. I mean, not drop targets, sorry. Uh, the stand-up targets. They... Um, some of them kind of rest back pretty easy. And this is a good example. See this one? Um, let's see. I'm going to level the camera out so we can kind of have a level view. Um, and it's offset. See the, the support? See how it's pushed back there? All right. You know, so this is a whatever manufacturer or whoever they use to, to build these for them or get them from them. They're not reinforced. Um, whereas I had to replace this one because the original, this plastic piece already broke off. So this is like your standard Valley Williams design. And I ordered the orange stand up thinking that these were orange, but apparently that's orange and that's maybe red color. I, I don't know from, you can see that they're different. That sucks, <laughs> but it is what it is. But this is reinforced right back here. And you can tell it from the design. I got this one from Pinball Life. Um, it has the, what is it, the capacitor built into the stand-up. These do not come with capacitors. However, I am not having any problem with this, like, um, triggering late, if that makes sense. Um, I, so I just left it on there. Um, so maybe in the future, if it starts getting wigged out and stupid, then I'll have to replace it. Uh, or just cut the, the capacitor off of it, but it's working just fine. Now, the only other thing that I'm having an issue with the Big Lebowski um, is I'm getting a lag <clears throat> within the, the, the gameplay code. Um, uh, I, I talked to their technical support and they think that it's possible that the drive might be the issue, which I've actually had the exact same problem actually happen on my Hobbit. Um, the solid state drives are not indestructible. Um, you know, they're supposed to cycle for so, you know, read write information, you know, over and over again. I just don't think that, you know, they're as amazing as we thought they were gonna be because within two machines, I'm having what looks to be like two of these solid state drives going bad. Um, technologically wise <laughs> that that seems to be problematic um, but so I'll have to replace it which I did buy the exact one um, that they suggested so this will be it I'm gonna be putting this one in um, but there's a lot of extra work I want to do um, within the game and so if I need to I want to export all of the, the data out of it um, and then that way I can keep my high score. Uh, you know, the typical kind of stuff. Oh, what a fucking lawyer, man. Boy, he is really... <laughs>
So that's my high score. I know you can barely see it. I am not Mr. Lebowski. Yeah, You're is. Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. Uh, 105 million high score on this game is incredible. And I did that on like day two of owning it. Like it was uh, ridiculous. And I haven't even gotten close since. <clears throat> so the build quality of these machines is amazing. Whatever's happening with the, the slowdown, uh, I've got, that's really frustrating because like when you're in a multi-ball and you're scoring a bunch of switches, it stops scoring switches and freezes up and then the flippers are gonna be dead and then your balls drain and then it all catches back up and then your flippers like, oh, let's go. And then they're like, oh, you've got all your balls in the trough, you know, ball over. Doesn't happen all the time, but it will happen. Uh, it happens too much, like every other game, which is kind of bull crap at this point. But again, it's, I don't think it's anything to do with the manufacturing process of the game in any way or their build quality. I just think it, I think it's a failure of a part, again, the hard drive. Um, also, as a side note, so if anybody wants to know, sometimes the RAM and that's built into the computers of these games can go bad and uh, all you have to do is replace them. It, it's one of those things you need to really look into um, if you're having random issues with the game loading and so on and so forth. Obviously I haven't had that with the uh, Big Lebowski but I did have that with The, the Hobbit. Um, Hobbit's giving me fits, that's why it's up right now. Uh, I've got an issue with the ring switch, but again, this is a Big Lebowski video. Uh, I still think this is one of the coolest games out there as far as theme integration, simplicity of gameplay, uh, mixed with the difficulty level um, to play it right or, uh, or optimally. Um, in spite of some of the issues I've had with it, like, you know, the stand-up target breaking or whatever, uh, I do not regret this one being in the collection at all. So hopefully that'll be interesting to some people. And, uh, you know, if anything else happens or after I change out the hard drive, I'll give an update on whether or not that actually fixed the problem or not. And uh, I'll tell you what, I think everybody needs to get their hands on one of these. Uh, now that they're becoming more available. Because um, I would love to see what they could do with some of the potential of the internet connectivity between maybe machines themselves um, as possibility of something that they were looking at doing. Uh, it'd be really cool to see other people's scores. So anyway, uh, everybody be good and uh, we'll talk to you soon.